Tickles. Oh, hey there, guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, welcome to some behind-the-scenes stuff here. Uh, it's 4.30 a.m., and I am here in the makeup chair, and uh, I'm about to have some prosthetic appliances, prosthetically applied by Paul, and, um, and that will transform me into the young version, the 12-year-old young Kermit, back to where I was quite a few years ago. <laughs> um, I, I want you to see this when we're done, but, it, but it's going to take a while, so, so I'm... You might want to come back, um, but we're, we're going to get started. This is this is interesting. Yeah, we're gonna, can you, you open your eye a little bit? Oh, oh yeah. We'll I, put your contact I, in. Ah. <laughs> Ta-da! Here we are, three hours later. I have been magically transformed to young Kermit. Ha! Ah. Okay, folks, let's go make a movie. Yeah! So, uh, what inspired you to make a movie about your life as a young frog? Well, you know, people always ask me about my childhood, and I wanted to answer those questions and let folks know what I was like when I was still wet behind the ears. Uh, I bet you folks didn't even know I had ears. Uh, but anyway, this movie tells my story, warts and all. Did you shoot this in the swamp where you grew up? Uh, yes, that's, I, I did shoot this movie in the swamp where I grew up, uh, and actually I played myself as a 12-year-old. You you're probably wondering how I did that. I, I wore special prosthetic makeup to play the part. Uh, every morning I, I had to sit in this makeup chair for hours, you know, to make me look younger. Uh, sort of gave me a perspective of what Miss Piggy goes through every day. Now, do you come from a large family? Oh, well, let's see, I was the uh, firstborn child. Um, very responsible, you know. I had several thousand younger brothers and sisters, and, um, you know, I miss them. I don't see them as much as I'd like to. Let's see, there was... Uh, there's, there's Angie and Artie and Aloysius and Andy and Artemis Eloise and Eustace and Eugene and Edward and yeah, Elaine and Mortimer and Mary and Millicent and, and Molly and, Max. and Yolanda and Yo-Yo and Yaya and Yee-Yee. Hmm? Well, well, Mom and Dad were kind of running out of names by then. Uh, let's see, and then we sort of ended up with uh, Zeke and Zachary and, uh, oh, and of course, Shlomo. Uh, the Z is silent. Okay, so tell me, what, what kind of games did you and Goggles and Coca play as tadpoles? Oh, we played the usual swamp games, you know, uh, leapfrog, uh, hide and sink, pin the tail on the tadpole. Oh, and baseball. Yes, sir, we, we love to get out there in the field and catch flies. Never really caught the baseball all that much, but a lot of flies, let me tell you. You know, but mostly, mostly it's like you see in the movie. We just like hanging out, going swimming, talking with each other, being kids. I think that's sort of true in every species. Now that you've grown, do you still see goggles, croco, blotch, and pilgrim? Oh, sure. I see those guys whenever I get back to the swamp. And, and, you know, sometimes they even come out to Hollywood to visit me when we're shooting. Yeah, that's always fun. You know, we go to Hollywood parties, you know, two frogs, a toad, and a dog. We blend right in. Folks just assume we're some kind of rock group or something. Kermit, uh, which place do you like more, Hollywood or the swamp? Yeah, yeah. I always get back to the swamp whenever I can. You know, it's, it's so different from Hollywood. I mean... Oh, sure, we have our rats and weasels there, too. But they're a lot friendlier in the swamp. I'm just curious. Uh, does Miss Piggy ever come out to visit you in the swamp? Uh, yes, Miss Piggy did visit me in the swamp, but uh, not often and not for long. I don't know, I think she's allergic to alligators. Did you encounter any, as they say, uh, technical difficulties making a movie in a swamp? Well, you know, when you're filming in the swamp, it's hot and sticky and thick with mosquitoes. But that works out great when you've got an all-frog crew because they never have to break for lunch. You know, they could just open their mouth and there you go, craft services. Oh. Do you think the swamp community will go Hollywood now that they've had a taste of showbiz? Well, I don't know. You know, we like it simple here in the swamp. But um, they have started a Swampland Film Commission to try and convince Hollywood to shoot here. I think their motto is, uh, come for the swamp, stay for the bugs. <laughs> Do you have any more stories about growing up in the swamp? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff that wasn't in this movie. Uh, like the time I... Oh, and there was the time that Croker... Oh, and who could forget the time Goggles and Blotch went to the... You, you know, I think you should just stick around. Maybe we'll get to tell you those stories, too. How do you feel about humans now? Oh, well, humans are some of the best people I know. What was it like that first time you saw the town of Leland? Well, that's tough. I mean, it's just a small town, you know, but it's uh, sort of like going to Oz, you know? I, I've been to other places that were a lot bigger than Leland, but 
that little town will always have a special place in my heart. Next to the swamp, it's kind of like home. Kermit, what does friendship mean to you? Well, well, it means being there for each other all the time, you know, when things are good and when things are kind of scary, like in the movie. Um, I think leaving the swamp taught me that more than anything else. And I've tried to have that kind of friendship my whole life, you know, with frogs and toads and alligators and bears and, yep, even a pig. Uh, hey, guys, I, 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 I kind of have to go now. I've got about three hours of makeup, okay? Uh, all right, thanks. Uh, thank you. Uh, <clears throat>